checking on Money Matters this morning. The FDA just approved a quick, cheap coronavirus test. And we're waiting to see the impact Laura will have on oil prices and stocks. Jane King joins us live from New York with the those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. The impact on gas prices because they shut down some of the refineries, Jane. That's right, Bruce and Jim, but it's a little different this time because the pandemic decimated demand for fuel. There was a big supply out there, so it's not going to have as big of an impact this time as hurricanes have in the past that have gone through the Gulf of Mexico. So oil is steady so far this morning. It did shut down, though, 80 percent of oil production in the Gulf, about uh, half of the uh, refining capacity as well. And the storm could cause as much as 25 billion in damage and economic losses. That's according to a disaster modeler with Inkey Research. And and destruction to refineries could be about $5 billion alone. Well, a 15 minute COVID test from Abbott Labs that's priced at just $5 has been granted emergency authorization for use in the U.S. So this could help clear up a bottleneck we're seeing with testing capacity. Abbott will start shipping that test within two weeks. They intend to make 50 million a month by October. So the aim here meet a surge in demand from Americans seeking to return to work and home because it's got such a quick turnaround. It may reduce quarantine uh, times as well. And the Postal Service, which is in a dire financial situation, has paid a significant number of its workers more in overtime then in regular pay that's going to a government watchdog so this is according to the usps office of inspector general it said the post office exceeded planned and penalty overtime hours by 14 million hours and that totaled about 520 million dollars in questionable costs well youtube has removed more videos than ever during the coronavirus pandemic leaning on its algorithm the platform took down 11 and a half million clips from april to june that compares with about 9 million during the same period last Last year, company execs say they did accept a lower level of accuracy to pull those clips because they just wanted to make sure they could uh, get as many pieces of uh, content that violated their policy off as possible. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you, Bruce and Jen. Thank you, Jane.